Team Trump to find yet another subpoena from Congress, this time for six years of the president's tax returns. The deadline was tonight, and the Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, writing in a letter to House Ways and Means Chairman Richard Neal, who had subpoenaed the returns, quote, we have determined that the committee's request lacks a legitimate legislative purpose, and the department is therefore not authorized to disclose the requested returns. Neil responded, responding to that, that he's going to talk to his lawyers. In other words, this is headed to the courts and a possible constitutional crisis. I think that uh, if both sides have made up their minds, uh, better to move it over to the next branch of government, the judiciary. And this will go to the third of branch of government to be resolved. Well, so they agree they're going to take it to the courts. And the president has argued, of course, that the documents he released yesterday, his financial disclosure statement, this is even better than releasing his taxes. I did do a filing of over 100 pages. You get far more from that than you could ever get from a tax return. That's what he says about this document. It's simply not true. This is the document from yesterday. This is last year's financial disclosure form. Um, how can you get more from this, which is 88 pages from last year, uh, from the president's disclosure, than you would get from that? That's a picture Trump himself tweeted of himself signing his 2015 tax return. So that's how much information could be available from one year. We got a measly little 88 pages, which do not answer the big questions of who paid the president money, exactly how much money the president owes, and to whom. But the president and his team have another excuse for not complying with the subpoena. Listen to this one. They're extremely complex. People wouldn't understand them. I don't think Congress, particularly not this group of congressmen and women, are smart enough to look through the thousands of pages that I would assume that President Trump's taxes will be. Well, she's right. It's not 88 pages. But, you know, calling someone stupid doesn't generally work, not even in kindergarten. There are 10 accountants in Congress. And as one member of the House Ways and Means Committee told me last night, let me assure you, Mr. President, we'll figure it out. So will we ever see the president's tax returns? Well, not if Trump has anything to do with it, meaning all of this was not true. If I decide to run for office, I'll produce my tax returns, absolutely. Maybe I'm going to do the tax returns when Obama does his birth certificate. I would love to give the tax returns, but I can't do it until I'm finished okay. with the audit.